it's Miss Cypel, and today we're going to be putting together our math binders for the year. So in order to do this, you need to have a binder, one that you're going to be using this year exclusively for math class. And inside that binder, you want to place five dividers. Now dividers are the ones with these tabs. They can be clear or colored. It doesn't matter as long as you have five of them. So I'm going to place those into my binder. So now I've got my binder with these five tabs. Now I want to label these tabs. And often when you buy tabs, they come with these little pieces of paper that you have to slip in between the little piece of plastic here. We're not going to do that. In class, you're going to get five stickers that look just like this. They say warm-ups, notes, classwork, keep sheets, and assessments. Those are gonna be our five tabs, and that's gonna be the order for your tabs. Warm-ups being first, and assessments being the last tab. Now these stickers are kinda of big, and my tabs are a little small, so I am actually going to cut down the size of these stickers, so they're a little bit smaller when I peel them off. Okay, my first one is warm-ups. I'm gonna peel that sticker off. And here's my binder. The very top tab here, I'm gonna place warm-ups. My sticker's a little big still, so I'm going to fold it over. And there you go. Now I have a tab that says warm-ups. And I'm gonna keep doing this. The next one is notes, so your second tab should be notes. The third tab is going to be for classwork. Your fourth tab is going to be keep sheets, which are sheets that we keep all year and we never throw out. Even when we clean out our binder at the end of the chapter, we'll always keep our keep sheets. And the last one is assessments. And assessments is just a fancy word that means all your quizzes and tests throughout the year. So when you're done, you should have a binder with five dividers and it says warm-ups, notes, classwork, keep sheets, assessments. Now we also want to add some paper in our binder. So I'm going to grab the classwork tab and I'm going to put some notebook paper behind this tab because we're going to be using notebook paper when we're doing our classwork. So I'm going to open it up here and you should have some loose leaf paper. You wanna just open up a package. And I like to take a full package because then I'm pretty set for the year. And I'm gonna put the whole package of paper in my binder behind that classwork tab. Hopefully. All right, I did. Put my paper in upside down. Oops. All right, now I've got it correct. So there's my paper. I'm going to close it back up. It's all behind the classwork tab. Now, this next part is optional. Um, I suggest buying an extra uh, pencil case, one that has the three holes, so I can add it to the front of my binder. Now the reason I like to have an extra pencil case is because the other things I need for math are some pencils and some red pens and of course my calculator. Now, all of these things can kind of be shoved into this folder pocket that's at the front of most of your binders, but I don't want anything to fall out, so I like another pencil case. And in this pencil case, I'm gonna put my calculator, my pencils, and some red pens. And the beauty of getting yourself organized this way is that now when you come to math class, the only thing that you need to grab with you is this binder 
because it will have your pencils, red pens, calculator. It'll have all of your homework and everything stored in the binder. It'll have paper if you need it. So just grab the binder and head on off to math class.